Hey everyone, it's Brandon, Senior Editor at Cariology here today. And I want to talk to you about one of my favorite brands, Tom Day. And I want to talk to you about how to choose the best everyday carry bag from them for you. Tom Bin's really got something for everyone from hyper organized bags like, like the Synapse here uh, to more toss it and go bags like the Shadow Guide series. Uh, so we're not really gonna be focusing on reviews of these bags today. Plenty of reviews out there. You can go to carryology.com or check out our YouTube channel uh, for more Tom Bin content. Um, but what I really wanna talk about today is how to choose the right bag for you. And I truly do think Tom Bin has something for everyone here. Uh, we're also not gonna focus too much on different materials and colors and availability because Tom Bin has a huge, huge library of different fabrics and colors for all their bags. I mean, the Synapse series alone, there's probably over a hundred different color combinations out there in the world today, color and material combinations. So you'll find these in Ballistic like you see here, uh, Halcyon, which we'll show you a bit later, uh, even Cordura and now X-Pac. So uh, let's get into why I think Tom Ben should be on your radar and why you sh your next EDC bag should be from Tom Ben. So first up, we have the Synapse. This is probably the most recognizable Tom Ben bag on the market. Uh, it's an older classic bag. This is probably the bag that people associate with Tom Ben the most and for good reason, right? It's, it's stood the test of time. It's been around forever. Um, and this is probably, I would guess, Tom Ben's best selling bag. It really has to speak to you, right? It has that classic Tom Bin look, but I think it's probably the most utilitarian bag in their collection. And by the end of this video, if you are still a little bit unsure about which bag is right for you, it's probably the Synapse. It really handles everything great. Um, you can customize it, you can scale it up and down based on what you need throughout your day. Um, so let's get into a little bit about what that means, right? Uh, so the pocketing on this thing is Honestly, truly amazing, uh, especially for a bag that was designed decades ago. You can see that these pockets all have their own space. So the 3D paneling is really superb. You know, slip pockets here. A little more smaller pockets on, on this side. Uh, you might notice the lack of a water bottle pocket, which might matter for you, might not. But I think Tom Bin kind of nails the best of both worlds here with this hidden center water bottle pocket right at the top here. So it's not gonna fit, you know, your giant nail jeans or anything like that, but but it is gonna fit anything standard size like this, o almost any bottle you could have outside of those large nail jeans. Um, another accessory pocket here, and the inside is a bit Spartan. Not much going on here. These are Tom Bin's packing cubes. Uh, and you'll notice that it's a half zip. I'm personally a big fan of half zips for everyday carry. Um, I like the clamshell zips for travel and gear hauling, but half zips are nice because you can just really rip them open and have access to everything in your bag without it falling out. Um, that's not necessarily the case with um, the full, full clamshell bags. One thing you might notice is uh, there's no laptop sleeve on this bag either. And that's okay because Tom Bin um, has a series of laptop sleeves, which I have around here somewhere. Hold, found it. So they have these cache sleeves, which are designed to fit any number of devices uh, from smaller tablets up to 16 inch MacBooks uh, and similar laptops. So you'll see these rails on the, these caches and those connect to the top of the bag at these little tabs up here. So you can kind of pull it in and out and it just slides around. The, the tabs on the rails on this side are for, for other bags. So just to give you an idea of how Tom Bin utilizes these, this is their daylight briefcase. And you can see even this thing has tabs on the top. You would just use the other side and that would go in there. So the caches are great, to, uh, a great thing to add to your Tom Bin collection because they're usable in almost all of their bags that don't have a dedicated laptop sleeve. And honestly, most of Tom Bin's bags do not have a dedicated laptop sleeve. Uh, let me show you what this looks like in action on my personal Synapse. Uh, so this is that Halcyon material I was talking about before. So here I have a tablet cache 
on the rails here. So you can kind of see how that attaches. If you have this laying out on a table, it's easy to slide out and have access to it without fumbling around inside your bag, especially when it's packed full. And another thing you might notice in here is this frame sheet on the back. So the Synapse also does not come with a frame sheet. It's a padded back panel, but there's no frame sheet. So Tom Bin has these frame sheets. They're not always in stock, but you can certainly find them secondhand. Uh, a lot of people don't care for them. I do, I prefer the frame sheets. Uh, just that's a personal preference. But this is really just getting into how modular these bags are. If you need to carry tech for the day, great. Pop your laptop or tablet sleeve in and you've got a laptop bag. If you don't need it, take it out and save the room. Uh, use it for the day at the park, go hiking with it. You don't need that sleeve, it just takes up room. Um, and the, the frame sheet in the back is obviously removable too. The stay inside is also removable. I personally like running the frame sheet without the stay in these. Um, so I promise we weren't getting into review territory, which we're doing a little bit here. So the Synapse comes in two sizes. 19 and 25 here, which has been sitting in front of me. My personal recommendation to you is if you're under six foot, go for the 19. If you're over six foot, go for the 25. That's obviously going to depend on what you carry every day. Um, if you're looking for more of an EDC slash travel pack, 25 is probably better for you. If you find yourself not carrying a ton, um, or you're just a smaller stature person like I am, the 19 is great. I love the 19. Let's get into what I think a lot of people are probably going to be here for, and that's the comparison between the Synapse and the Cynic. So the Cynic might look a lot like the last bag we just looked at, the Synapse, but it's honestly pretty different, and there's a reason that Tom Bin has kept both of these bags around instead of replacing one with the other. Uh, so this is a more recent bag, and it was designed around some feedback people had about the Synapse or general, you know, complaints they had about it which you know you might be able to see is a lack of a frame sheet, lack of a dedicated laptop sleeve, a few other things, maybe the clamshell zip. Well, here's a Cynic. Again, looks the same, right? But it's similar in the same way that GoRux bags are similar, right? Uh, a GR1 is different from a Rucker, is different from an Echo, is different from a GR2. It might look the same, but there's a reason they all still exist. Uh, it's because they're different. So you'll see that we still have, you know, these 3D modeled, side pockets so you can really easy, mi easily migrate from the Synapse to the Cynic. Still has that center water bottle holder and uh, the nice boot down here which fits a jacket, any of Tom Bin's pouches. So here's where we start getting into the differences. As you can see or you're about to see uh, you'll notice it's a little bit tougher to unzip because these bags, uh, the Cynic series has AquaGuard zippers in the main compartment. Uh, one, because this is a more tech focused bag uh, and you obviously don't want water or rain in your bag. And secondly, secondly because uh, because it's a full clamshell, Tombin thought that uh, having the zippers be a little um, less easy to move up and down will prevent that, you know, bag opening up and contents spilling out, you know, as you're trying to organize yourself at the airport or something. So again, a few different things going on here. Comes with the compression straps. So if you have packing cubes like I just took out or anything else, you can really cinch it towards the back. I personally don't run these in my Cynic, but personal preference, totally up to you. Laptop sleeve, two entrances, one back here and one on the side here. Laptop. This is a 14-inch laptop, same size to a MacBook Pro. And you can see that fits pretty well. You do have to put it on an angle. Uh, if you're running a 15, 16-inch laptop, you're gonna wanna upgrade to the Cinec 30, which we'll talk about in a second. I mean, you can also see that accessible through the top as well. Another big thing big difference, I guess, between the Cynic and the Synapse is the integrated frame sheet. So there's a frame sheet which can be removed at the bottom here um, with a stay that goes up to the halfway point. This is to cut down on some weight and also allow some flexibility while still providing support. So as you can see, we also have two sizes of the Cynic 2. Uh, we have the 22 and the 30. 
And those might sound quite a bit bigger, three and five liters uh, respectively, but they're basically the same size as their uh, Synapse siblings. Let me show you for a second. So as you can tell, the footprint on the Synapse 19 versus Synic 22, they're about the same. Uh, that extra couple liters that you see on the Synic, one, it's, it's a bit of marketing speak just to kind of differentiate the two bags. And you do have some extra space uh, for the laptop on the Synic. And as far as the larger models go, again, you can tell they have this basic same footprint, uh, the Cynic 30 and the Synapse 25. Again, that extra couple literage comes in from the laptop sleeve and just the marketing speak to differentiate the bags. So just to quickly recap between the Cynic and the Synapse, um, they're both great bags. And you might still have a tough decision deciding between these two, even after this video, uh, but I hope I've helped. I think if I had to narrow it down to a couple bullet points is if you are carrying a laptop or a tablet every single day and that's just non-negotiable for you, I would try the Cynic. Um, that dedicated laptop sleeve is really nice. This, the cache system in the Synapse is, is great. I love it, but it does take up more space inside the main compartment. So if you're a laptop person every single day, try the Cynic. Um, or if you really just like that clamshell design, Cynic. If you don't like clamshell, Synapse. It's kind of as simple as that. Uh, the frame sheets are remedi remediable. Um, you can take the frame sheets in or out of both of these, but it about sums up these two. Uh, again, size-wise, I think the 19 and 22 for those of you under six foot or don't carry a lot throughout your day. And those of you over six foot, go for the 25 or the 30. All right, so if you're still with me, let's talk about the Shadow Guide. So these bags are a huge contrast to the Synapse and Cynic series bags. Uh, as you can see, two sizes, we'll talk about that later. But this is low pocketing, uh, high grab and go, uh, and it just, it's a really different bag. Uh, to the point where if you're not familiar with Tom Bin, you could put, you know, one of the Synapse or Cynics bags next to this and almost never realize that these bags were made by the same company. Uh, honestly, that's a good thing. It shows Tom Bin's versatility. So this is that classic clutter sack style bag, right? So on the back side is where the entrance to the brain is. And there is a ton of space in here to the point where this water bottle that was in the other bags fits fully horizontal across the brain of the bag. So realistically, you could fit probably three of these water bottles in there. I don't know why you would do that, but just to give you an idea of the size of the brain. The only other pockets are on the underside of the brain. You can see them right here. And the nice thing about those is you can access them while the brain is down. You can kind of slip under the side here and access those. And those are split down the middle, so they're two separate pockets. Now, while the Shadow Guide might look like more of a traditional hiking pack, that clutter sack style bag, uh, it's got a laptop sleeve. So this makes it a really wonderful uh, grab and go everyday carry option or travel option. So raised laptop sleeve back here. Nice air mesh back panel. There is a frame sheet back here, which you can also remove. That frame sheet gives it the ability to um, sit on top of a roller bag too, your luggage. Uh, that is something with the Cynic that I didn't mention is because the frame sheet is removable and it has this gap at the bottom, you can pretty easily put this on top of a roller bag. So who is the Shadow Guide for? Shadow Guide is for that person that carries a lot of pouches, a lot of packing cubes, they don't like micro or even macro organization that much. Uh, or maybe you haul a lot of bulk gear, camera gear or anything else, gym gear, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the downsides of the Synapse and Cynic series is because of all the 3D paneling and the pockets having all their own volume, uh, it does eat into the main compartment a bit. So that 25 liters or 30 liters, it's not gonna be an exact 25 liters or 30 liters of bulk space. So if you carry bulkier gear, uh, 
try this guy. As you can see, you can fit one, two, three of these really easily in here. And honestly, you could probably fit about six by the time you get it up to the top, cinched and fold it over. So again, this is the Shadow Guide 23. Um, fits a good six of these packing cubes. I think this is a really conservative 23 and fully packed out. You're probably getting closer to something in the 25 to 30 liter range pers personally, I think. Um, like you saw earlier, two sizes. So we have the 23 and the 33. The 33 really hits more in the travel realm in my opinion, but it really depends on you know who you are and what you carry throughout your day. The 33, um, by the time you really pack this thing full, I think you're hitting 35 plus liters of this thing if you really pack it out. But you know the nice part about the design of you know the clutter sack style is it cinches down really nice and easily. So you are using this for travel. Really easy to you know get to where you're going, unpack your bag, cinch it down. And as you can see, the 33 can pack down to basically the size of a the 23. So Shadow Guide, they carry a lot of bulky, heavier gear, or you just don't like a lot of macro organization or micro organization, try these guys out. All right, next up, we have what I think is one of Tumbin's most unique bags, the Brain Bag. Now, this is a very use case specific bag, in my opinion. This is for those IT road warriors that are carrying multiple laptops, a ton of tech, uh, and they're on the road a lot. This is a bag designed for really heavy use, not that the others aren't, but this is an especially burly bag, and it's one of the only bags on the market that does a great job carrying two plus large workstation style laptops. Uh, so let's get into how that does that. So as you can see, all of the zipper compartments for your mice, keyboard, other peripherals have these really generous rain flaps over them. And what I like about the bigger rain flaps like this is because they don't sit on the zipper seam, it still keeps the zipper nice and smooth and protects it from rain. Because it's a tech focused bag, you obviously don't want water penetrating your backpack. So you still get some of these Synapse Cynic style side zippers with you know little slip pockets on the inside, with these nice generous and really smooth rain flaps on the outside. Um, you could fit a small water bottle pocket here or any quick access items in this mesh little sleeve. And again, another side pocket on this side. Uh, you might be wondering what is hanging off the front of this bag. There's these couple straps uh, and this spring clip. That's where the water bottle goes. So rather than have the water bottle on the inside of the backpack, like on the Synapse and Cynic series, there's always a chance that your water bottle leaks uh, low and they do a good job um, making sure water from those compartments doesn't get into the bag. But because this is a tech focused bag, let's keep it on the outside. It also just leaves way more room for all your stuff on the inside because let's be honest, if you're buying this bag, you're probably carrying a lot. So see the water bottle hooks on the front like that pretty easily. That spring clip is there to stabilize it and it's pretty adjustable. Um, I haven't tried it with the large Nalgene style bottles, but based on the adjustability of these straps here, I think it would do just fine. So let's talk about laptop carry. So there's no external accessible uh, laptop sleeve. You, you, know, you don't see anything on the back here. Uh, and again, nothing on the top, except these two main compartments. Yes, there's two main compartments. So we got double compression straps, which is not super common for Tom Bin, but it keeps your gear secure. So we have this front compartment, which is the half zip. Rear compartment is half zip too. Have the packing cubes in here for now. But you'll see at the top here, we have these two cash rails for our cash sleeves. So you might be asking, oh, where's the other laptop go? In the second main compartment. I guess you could call this more of a laptop area, 
but I also have more packing cubes back here uh, because they fit. This is very much its own dedicated compartment as well. So you have the cash sleeves at the top and room for another cash sleeve. So honestly, this is a 14 inch sleeve and this bag dwarfs it. Uh, I would be more than comfortable, you know, using a large 16, 17 inch workstation style laptop in here. Um, I don't carry that much anymore nowadays, but there was a time where I did carry two or more laptops uh, every single day to and from an office. I didn't have a brain bag at the time, but having this now really makes me wish I did. It would have made my life a lot easier. To recap, this is the brain bag. This is for you if you are on the road a lot with a lot of gear, especially laptops. Maybe you're in IT, maybe you're in public speaking. That's up to you. But if you're an IT road warrior, check out the brain bag. All right, and here's a bag that I don't really think needs a comparison to the other bags in this lineup. This is the Daylight Backpack. This is a packable hiking day pack that goes with anything. There isn't a case imaginable where you have one of the other bags and couldn't make use out of the Daylight Backpack. Uh, whenever I travel, and even when I'm not traveling, just in my car, I always, always carry a packable backpack. Um, if I'm bringing extra stuff when I'm coming home, it's great. If I decide to go out on a hike or do something and I don't have a hiking pack or just whatever backpack I brought on my trip uh, wouldn't do well hiking, uh, having a packable backpack in my bag, uh, super useful. Um, it's super lightweight. Uh, if we take the cues out of here, you'll see that it rolls up super small. If you're put, putting this in the bottom of your backpack or whatever travel bag you have, it's not that much bigger than a water bottle. You could obviously get it a little tighter than I have it here. If you use a suitcase or a duffel bag, it's really easy just to lay flat at the bottom of your bag. It takes up almost no room at all. Um, you know, nice, simple organization. This slash pocket on the front is the full panel up and down. The interior of the bag is actually a little bit interesting. So half zip, which again, I like. Your gear doesn't fall out. It's easy to access stuff. You'll see that there are these two sleeves on the back wall. And these are here to provide you with back panel padding. So if you have these cubes, uh, or just, you know, a jacket, a layer, anything. You can put them in these sleeves on the back panel and even double up on the top here. And that'll protect your back from anything you have in the bag, whether it's a camera or anything else that might poke you or is not just particularly comfortable. Uh, the straps are perfectly sufficient in my opinion. This bag did used to have webbing straps and it was fine, but you obviously weren't very comfortable. Uh, these are much nicer. They do have a little bit of padding in them, um, no edges. Uh, I would guess you could call them edgeless as well. I think Tom Ben calls them edgeless, edgeless light. Um, and it does come with a hip belt, which you can use or not. I don't think you really need one in a bag this size. Daylight backpack. If you travel at all, get one of these, throw it in your backpack, throw it in your suitcase. Uh, thank me later. Okay, next up we have one of the newer bags in Tom Ben's collection, the Cambiata. So the initial pitch on this was it was Tom Bin's take on a tote pack. Tote packs have become really popular lately, especially over the past couple of years. They offer a really great grab and go ability. And if you do end up walking further or having to travel further distances or just have a heavier load you want to carry on your back, they have backpack straps. So I wouldn't call this a, a tote pack. It's more of a cross body pack just because to me, it doesn't embody that, you know, that typical tote bag or helmet bag silhouette with double carry handles that you can shoulder. Um, but it's still really cool and let's dig into why. So I think the Cambiata is great for light commuters. What do I mean by light commuter? These are people that are not walking, you know, miles through the city, you know, bunch of subway stops. These are pe for people who are, you know, walking across parking lots, going from their car to their office, um, 
maybe even going on a light trip. Uh, that's what I mean by commuter light. As you can see on the back side, like I showed you before, uh, there's this strap dangling here, which I'll talk to you about in a second, but there's these backpack straps as well. So these connect at the bottom. And when you're not using them, they disconnect and get stuffed into this back sleeve, out of sight, out of mind. And the little tabs at the bottom also tuck away into these little sleeves here. So when they're not in use, you have this crossbody strap. Obviously, it could be a shoulder strap, crossbody strap, depending on you know how long you make it. Uh, it uses Tom Bin's really nice strap webbing. I think they use some of the best webbing out there. Um, and while we're on the back, you might see the laptop sleeve up here. So this is why I think it's great for commuters. So again, this is a 14 inch slimmer laptop. It's great. On the front, you got this slip pocket for documents, papers, you know, just quick grab and go items, maybe a pack of gum even. There is a water bottle compartment. It is internal like the Synapse and Cynic series. As you can see, this water bottle fits great. Um, and on the inside, Tom Bin has the interior fabric with the PU coating side out. This just keeps water from getting at the inside of the backpack if it were to leak. On this side, you have two more little quick access items. They kind of go down to where you see the next zipper. And on the top here, you have this horseshoe style opening with quick access pocket at the top. As you can see, I have packing cubes in here like usual. And on the inside, you can see it's pretty barren, but on this side, there are two pockets, uh, open top pockets with elastic at the top. And then there's a sleeve at the back, um, just like the Synapse and Cynic have on their front. Great for a layer or something. So to recap the Cambiata, this is for that commuter light person that really likes that grab and go ability, um, but still wants that potential backpack, uh, you know, capability to, you know, handle longer commutes, handle longer walks, maybe you're carrying heavier gear for the day. But it's a great crossbody. It's almost uh, a, it's almost a similar carry to Tom Bin's cafe bags. That's probably my best comparison to it. It's as if a cafe bag and a Synapse had a baby. That's the Cambiata. All right, last but not least, we have the Attix. Now, the Attix is Tom Bin's first foray into a roll top design. And it's certainly a unique roll top, and we'll get into that in a moment. This is also Tom Bin's first time using X-Pack. Uh, it has since uh, been used in a few of the other bags. The Synapse and the Cynic have now used X-Pack a bit. But this was their debut of X-Pack, and I personally really like it. This is the RX-30. It has a nice soft hand fill. So I know it doesn't look like it, but it's gonna be a relatively similar setup to the Cambiata we just talked about. Um, two front panels here, a little organization inside the front one. There's a couple elastic top pockets. This one is just wide open. Um, I've carried my Kindle in here. On this guy, the water bottle pocket is on the outside, stretchy mesh compartment. Um, the goal of this bag is to really be waterproof. And if your water bottle is inside the waterproof bag, there's always a chance that bad things happen. You'll see on this side, there's another quick access compartment. This is the exact same design as the Cambiata's water bottle compartment. So you certainly could still fit a water bottle in there, no problem. But we have the exterior bottle pocket here. On the rear side, there is a laptop sleeve. So more similar to how the shadow guide is set up on the laptop sleeve. Side entry, nice padding all around, raised. And that's the only thing you can get on the inside uh, with the roll top closed. So there's, there's no exterior access to the roll top. And that's because they really wanted this bag to be as water resistant as possible. Any zippers to the main compartment can compromise that. So speaking of the roll top, uh, unlike a more traditional roll top that you'll see either cinched down vertically at the sides or maybe uh, hooked up at the top, uh, it connects to these two side release buckles right here. So you would release those and unroll. You can get about four or five rolls all the way cinched down. So you'll see it's fully lined Talcyon, which I love. I'm a big fan of lined bags. 
We're gonna take our packing cubes out of here. Similar to the Synapse. See if you can see inside there. That laptop is also accessible from the sleeve uh, by the top. And the front has two mesh sleeves. Again, not sure if you can see that. Uh, on the front panel. You can also roll this and clip it up top. I know it's not how I showed it to start with, and I mentioned that being a more typical roll top design, uh, but you can certainly do it with the Edix. You can see how I do it here, and Tombin has these two side release buckles uh, opposite for a reason. Uh, this is a great way to add more capacity to your bag. If you stop at the shop on the way home, pick up some groceries, you give that one or two folds, connect it up top, and you gain a couple extra liters of space at the top of the bag. So, who is the Addicts for? The Addicts is for those serious commuters. Uh, I don't mean serious commuter, I just mean someone who commutes every day. Uh, you're taking transit, you're walking multiple city blocks, maybe miles, uh, or you're taking your bike to work, your bike commuter, scooter commuter, whatever. Um, the weatherproofing on this bag, especially because it comes in X-Pack, which I would recommend if you go with this bag, personally, um, is really great. It's definitely better than anything else in their lineup. And that extra expandability at the top, just for those, just for, to grab some extra items at the shop on the way home, it's really nice. Also, the Addicts comes in two sizes. This is the 26, there's also a 31 liter. These are gonna be pretty similar in sizes to the Shadow Guide series, which I told you, which I showed you before. Uh, 26 being similar to the 23, and the 33 Shadow Guide being more similar to the 31 Addicts. Again, those leaders are, you know, every brand measures their leaderage in different ways, but those are coming out to roughly the same size as far as carriage goes. Um, so that's the best comparison I have for not having it on hand right now, but this is the Addicts. So those are our picks for Tom Bin's EDC bag lineup. Obviously, Tom Bin has a ton of other backpacks. They have travel bags, crossbody bags, uh, what have you. But these were the bags that we chose that we think are their best EDC bags. And we hope that you saw one here today that you're gonna like, uh, that you're gonna be able to put to use. And if you have questions, hit us up in the comments. Thanks again. Oh, 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 oh,